Getty horses played an important role in Winston Churchill's life. It is often forgotten that horses played an important part in Winston Churchill's life. They were his escape in childhood, his challenge in youth, his triumph in sport and his diversion in old age. Now, to coincide with the release of my new book about him, here's everything you want to know about Churchill and his love of horses. Hunting in his 70 Shirk Hill Road more extensively than any prime minister before or since. He was in the saddle in England, Ireland, France, Spain, Moravia now part of the Czech Republic, India, Northwest Frontier now Pakistan, Canada, USA, Sudan and South Africa. He played his last game of polo at 52 and was three days short of his 74th birthday when he had his last day's hunting. No hour of life is lost that is spent in the saddle, he wrote. Young men have often been ruined by owning horses or through backing horses but never through riding them unless of course they break their necks which, taken at the gallop, is a very good death to die. No hour of life is lost that is spent in the saddle. Winston Churchill Childhood Favourite as a teenager Churchill lived near Newmarket at Banstead Manor, now the center of Prince Khalid Abdullah's Judd Monty Farms Racing Empire. Young Winston was there because his father Lord Randolph Churchill had taken up racing and in 1889 won the Oaks with his filly Labus de Joer. There is a note of father and son riding across Newmarket Heath to watch the horse working on the lime kilns, the famous gallops. It was Churchill's favorite place in childhood. The feeble horseman Churchill was an often sickly and almost puny youth for whom horses were a physical way of proving himself. At 18, when he entered the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst he measured just under 5 feet 7 inches, had a miserable 31-inch chest and after a fortnight wrote to his mother I am cursed with so feeble a body that I can scarcely endure the fatigues of the day. To counter this he threw himself into horsemanship, taking extra lessons and finally coming a close second out of 127 cadets in the end-of-course riding exam, by far his highest placing in any subject. Getty Brow Scott is a British horse racing journalist and former jockey race fixing scandal he rode in a steeplechase at Aldershot races in 1895 which was later found to be fixed and the scandal threatened his whole career. After finishing a distant and almost certainly innocent third on a horse called Traveller he rode excitedly to his brother it was very exciting and there is no doubt that it being pretty dangerous, however rumors grew that the winner, a horse called Surefoot, was not Surefoot but something better. A full 11 months later the stewards took the extraordinary step of banning all the horses for life but taking no sanction against the riders. Nothing was proved but it took time for the scandal to fade. Getty Winston Churchill with the horse 71934 UNDER fire in Cuba Churchill spent his 21st birthday on horseback in Cuba, being shot at for the first time. Faced with a compulsory 12-month winter break, 2nd Lieutenant Churchill used his family contacts to get himself seconded to the Spanish forces of General Suarez Valdez, then struggling to put down a rebellion on the island. Armed with introductory notes from the head of the Spanish army and the British Prime Minister, he persuaded fellow Lieutenant Reggie Barnes to accompany him with the cheery note after all Reggie, we are soldiers and should see some fighting. Come out there. It might be better than hunting or polo. Brave in battle he rode in a 400-horse cavalry charge against 2,500 musket and scimitar-wielding dervishes in which 22 of his fellow cavalrymen were killed. It was at the Battle of Omdurman in the Sudan in September 1898 and Churchill was in the very thick of the action, galloping through the massed ranks of the enemy. As I straightened in the saddle, he wrote of the moment after he shot one attacker, I saw another figure with uplifted sword. I raised my pistol and fired. So close were we that the pistol itself actually struck him. Man and sword disappeared behind me. Getty Churchill became a keen polo player during his time as a subaltern in Bangalore. Star of the polo Churchill scored a hat-trick in the final of the most important polo tournament of his life. This was in India in 1899 where he played practice matches every evening and became the youngest member of his regimental team. The biggest event in India was the Interregimental Championships. Churchill's fourth Hussars had never won it but in the final, despite a damaged shoulder, he manmarked the opposition's star player out of the match and slotted in three goals for a 43 triumph, you would not think it a game at all, he wrote, but a matter of life and death, vaulting to safety during the Boer War in South Africa, his life was saved by his ability to mount at the gallop. His group were ambushed while off their horses and as Churchill went to remount, the saddle slipped round and the horse thundered free leaving Winston a sitting, or in this case a running, duck. Getty Churchill and General French walked their horses together during World War I. Suddenly an ally galloped across and Churchill ran to him and vaulted out behind his savior. As he clung to the mane he felt his fingers wet with blood. They have shot my horse, wailed the rider. 
Churchill cheerily replied well you have saved my life, only to be cursed with it's the horse that matters. Riding with Chaplin Churchill was at one stage so keen on fox hunting that he kept four hunters for himself to ride and got ticked off by his cousin the Duke of Marlborough who wrote I consider your arrangements needlessly expensive. He hunted jackal near Table Mountain in South Africa and wild boar with the Duke of Westminster in France where fellow riders included Coco Chanel and Charlie Chaplin. His last day's hunting was in November 1948 in scorn of the first anti-field sports bill. He was then leader of the opposition. It wouldn't happen now a winning owner in his sunset years Churchill enjoyed much success as a racehorse owner and breeder. His first horse, a grey called Colonist II, won 13 races and became the most popular runner on the British turf with huge crowds cheering as his owner came into the winner's enclosure waving his cigar and giving them the V for victory sign. In 15 years he won 71 races, many with horses he bred himself, it does not fall to many people, he wrote, to start a racing career at the age of 75 and to reap from it such pleasure, to order Churchill at the Gallop by Brow Scott Racing Post, £25 with free UK delivery, call the Express Bookshop with your card details on 018-7256-2310. Alternatively send a check WEPO made payable to the Express Bookshop to Gallop Offer, P.O. Box 200, Falmouth TR 11, 4WJ or visit expressbookshop.co.uk.